most indoor cats will never get stuck up in a tree. But it can happen sometimes if your cat happens to escape the home and then it gets scared or chased by a loose dog or some other animal. This is exactly what happened to my friend Jenny's cat, Fluffy. A loose dog scared him and he ran up a tree in the neighborhood. Now the dog was pretty friendly, but a cat is prey and it's not gonna wait around to find out if a dog is friendly or not. Cats are great at climbing up trees, but they have a much harder time climbing down especially if in their anxiety, they climb up higher than they intended. And when one of ours does that, we also get anxious. After all, it's one of our fur babies up in a tree crying pitifully. So we wanna to try to get it down as quickly as possible. My name is Francisco and on this channel, I work with my three cats, Calypso, Skyfall, and Mr. Muffin to help you improve the lives of your indoor cats. Although today we are gonna be talking about Fluffy and he's gonna be outside, stuck in a tree. In this video, I'm going to take a look at some of the ways to help your cat get down from a tree. Now with Fluffy stuck up in the tree and clearly not able to get down or at least not confident enough to get down on his own, my friend Jenny called me and asked if I could come over and help. Now, after checking out the situation, it seemed reasonably clear that this was not going to be a very easy rescue. Fluffy was pretty high up in the tree and there was no clear path for him to come down. It seemed that the only way to get him down would be a ladder, but because of the height, that also might be a little bit dangerous, especially if you have ever tried to climb down a ladder holding an anxious cat in one arm. There are several ways to get cats down from trees, but actually climbing up on a ladder and getting to get them down is generally one of the last. Now, the first thing to do is try to reduce the amount of noise, confusion, anxiety around the tree so that your cat will be able to focus on actually getting down. So for example, if the animal that scared it up the tree is around, it should be put back home or out of sight so that the cat is not watching it. Or if there are neighborhood kids milling about and making noise, ask them to step away so that the cat will not be distracted by their activities. Once that is done, offering food or treats is an easy first step that might just be all you need to coax your cat back down. Treaties? You think you might come down for treaties? They will smell the food, figure out the best way to get down, and the ordeal is over. Now in Fluffy's case, the dog was back home, there was nobody around, so things were quiet, and we had taken out the treats and made sounds with them, but he still would not come down. Another way is to use a ladder and put a, a ladder near to where your cat is and maybe your cat will be able to use the ladder to reposition itself or to access branches that are lower down and then use that as a way of working its way down from the tree. But this option will depend on how high your cat is and also uh, the positioning of the branches. You might not even be able to get a, tr a ladder up that high. Because of the height, I did not try this with Fluffy. Some people have also suggested using a laser pointer to trigger its play instinct and point out the branches that it should go to next. Now, I have never tried this method and I am rather skeptical about it. I think that if your cat is really stuck, it will be too anxious to try to play. And if anything, it knows which branches are near it and which branches it should go to without you having to point it out. But I would be interested to know if any of you have tried it and if it has been successful. Another suggestion I have seen is to use a cat carrier as a type of elevator. And this suggestion to me seems very far-fetched. The idea is to attach a carrier to a rope, throw the rope using a, a ball at the end of it over one of the branches near your cat, pulling up the carrier to it, and hoping that your cat will step into the open carrier and then you can gently ease it down. I think that trying to throw a rope over a branch near your cat will probably make it more anxious and might actually make it go further up the tree. In addition, I'm highly doubtful that a cat is going to get into an open carrier swaying up there at 30 feet in the air. And what happens if your cat unbalances the carrier and it tips over while it's trying to get in? In addition to that, many cats hate their carriers. So that's gonna be a detraction right there. Overall, this seems like a pretty poor idea to me. But again, I would be very interested in knowing if any of you have tried it 
and what has been your experience? I'd love to hear your stories in the comments. Now, if you have climbed trees before and are confident about it, you can just climb up a ladder and get the cat yourself. But there's always the risk of falling and injuring yourself. That's why this solution is not normally recommended as one of the first things to try. If you are not able to do this yourself and your cat has been up in the tree for more than 12 hours, you might need to ask for some help. Your local humane society might have suggestions about who you can call. You might also uh, try calling a tree maintenance company. They might be willing to do that for a fee. Now, when it came to Fluffy, I decided to try to get him down myself. Our solution was to use a cat backpack. Now, this cat pack is made specifically for transporting cats. And the uh, Fluffy was uh, familiar with jumping into boxes, so we thought he would jump into this without too much hesitation. It can be zipped up and it has shoulder straps so you can strap it onto yourself and I would be able to climb down the ladder using both arms. I reviewed the backpack in another video and I'm gonna put a link in the description below in case you're interested in finding out more about it. But this was the perfect solution. I climbed up the ladder and jump, uh, Fluffy, after a little bit of hesitation, did jump into the, into the backpack. <laughs> I zipped it up, put it over my shoulder, and was able to climb down without any problems. Part of the ease of this is that Fluffy already knew me and there was trust between us, so he felt reasonably confident doing this with me. If I had been a stranger, I don't know what he would have done. Now, I'm not suggesting that you climb up a ladder to get your cat. This was just my solution. And as I have mentioned, there are risks involved that you have to take very seriously. You might have solutions that are better suited to your situation, and I would love to hear about them. We took Fluffy home in the backpack where he felt safe. And although afterwards he was rather subdued, uh, he was fine after this little ordeal. Now, this kind of experience can create anxiety in cats, and anxiety is something that you need to watch out for. And I have a video that I'm going to post right here that you can take a look at it if you want to find out more about how to deal with cats and how to notice whether they are suffering from anxiety. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.